Hello, my name is Heidebeck. Today we're going to talk about atoms. Imagine a maple leaf. I'm not a great artist, but I hope you will understand that it's a maple leaf. So if we divide this into trillions of pieces, we get a small parts called cells. Cell is a small unit of any living organism. And inside of the cell, we have a nucleus. Maple leaf has a plant cell. Inside of that plant cell, we have a DNA. DNA consists of nucleotides. And nucleotides are made up of atoms. So, atom is a very tiny particle that has all matter. All living organisms, earth, rocks, water and air consist of atoms. Now, if we look inside of atom, it has two main parts, nucleus and electron. Nucleus consists of two subatomic particles called proton and neutron. And as you can see, nucleus is located in the center of the atom and electron is moving around the nucleus. So this is the structure of an atom. Now we depicted the atom of hydrogen. Hydrogen is a type of atom with one proton and one electron. It does not have neutron. Let's draw another type of atom. So this is the atom of helium. It has two protons, two neutrons and two electrons. As you can see that the proton and neutron of the helium is located in the center of the atom. Here you can see that I have put the symbol of positive on the protons because relative charge of proton is equal to plus one. Relative charge of neutron is zero and relative charge of electron is negative one. How can we memorize it quickly? Proton is positive. Neutron comes from the word neutral. So it has a neutral charge. Electron is always negative. Now if we sum up the number of proton and electron, we come up with the charge zero because atom has a neutral charge. Okay, now let's compare the relative masses of these subatomic particles. Relative mass of proton is one, and relative mass of neutron is the same as the mass of proton, so it is also equal to one. Relative mass of electron is very small. It's 2000 times smaller than the mass of proton. So sometimes we consider the mass of electron as zero. So what is the size of an atom? Let's take a hydrogen atom. So 
So this is the nucleus. We have only one proton in the nucleus of hydrogen and one electron that moves around the nucleus. Radius of an atom is the distance from the center of the atom, which is the nucleus, and outer shell electron. So this is called radius of an atom. So average radius of an atom is equal to 0.1 nanometers. It's a very small size. And size of the atom is even smaller. So there is an empty space inside of atom. Now, let's talk about nuclear number and mass number. Nuclear number is the sum of proton number and neutron number. Proton number and neutron number. Nuclear number is equal to the mass number. If we look to the periodic table, we have different types of atoms called elements in each box of this table. And helium is located here. All the elements have nuclear number and atomic numbers. Atomic number is the number of proton. So proton number tells us what element is depicted in this box. Let's take a helium atom. Helium's atomic number is equal to 2 and its nuclear number is equal to 4. So atomic number tells us that helium has two protons. And how do we find the number of neutron of helium atom? In order to identify the number of neutron, we should subtract proton number from the nuclear number. So 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. It means that helium has two neutrons. If we look at another atom, lithium. Its atomic number is equal to 3. It means it has three protons. Its nuclear number is equal to 7. So now let's calculate the number of neutrons in lithium atom. So 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 is the number of neutrons in atom of lithium. So today we've talked about atom. Atom is a tiny particle which is a building block for all matter. It has two tiny particles such as nucleus and electron. We've also talked about relative charges and masses of these subatomic particles. And finally, we now know that there are different type of atoms, which we call elements. But we are going to study elements in the next videos. That's it for today. See you next time.